Hi everybody, it's PJ, and as you can see, I'm in a new car. Yep, got a new car. Like my flowery things, they smell greedy. But it came along, it was a wonderful, beautiful thing, and I, um, yeah, like, it's just wonderful. It does everything. I mean, it's amazing. It even, you know how you have heated seats? Well, this has air conditioned seats and let me tell you something about air conditioned seats on women it makes me think like i cough too hard or laugh too hard it makes me think that yeah like maybe something's going on down there but um it's not it's just cold little cold little tickles all down there so it's a little little intent all right enough said but anyway it is pretty amazing she's beautiful i'm enjoying her a lot but I've been getting into mantras lately, like mantras that are, they turn on your chakras, they kind of open them up, I'm sorry, they kind of open them up and allow you to take in all the energy from the universe type thing. When you repeat mantras, when you go, like you meditate with them. And you know, I'm a meditating crazy person um, and, cause I do it all the time. And, uh, cause I just think it's like the best high, but I'm using mantras now a lot. And, um, I just did a little video about a couple mantras, but my son in New Orleans is a lot like me. He, um, he's spiritually, he's a lot like me. So he, uh, I was telling him, I actually sang him some mantras because some mantras you sing and they're just so amazing in turn my well before that my son sent me three hours of the tibetan bowl like oh my gosh that you could it's like lullabies i was wondering if they took all the other things that i use like hemi sync and binormal beads and alpha waves that I use to travel to do my astral projection and try to find my boyfriend and stuff. I wonder if I did that with the bowls also, like dubbed it up together. If I wonder if somebody did that. I'm gonna look around on the web and see if anybody, I'm sure the Monroe Institute would have done that the other thing is is um i've been listening to this guy i think his name is tom campbell and he's connected to the monroe institute and he has a bunch of videos and some of them get a little boring because he's a freaking scientist and i don't know what he's talking about really but um when he talks about when he goes into like theories of things it's pretty interesting so one of his things is saying like you have to get prepared for death and when i say that i don't mean like get your will together get all that this is like preparing your soul to where you want to go and that's like part of the reason why i travel i told my the owner of my company is like a devout christian and he's almost almost a fundamentalist where like every word to the bible is true he doesn't care i've asked him like well did god put us next to the dinosaurs he's like it doesn't matter to me like those aren't things that i have to worry about so he's got that which i think is amazing like somebody said to me well that just means he doesn't have a good answer and i said no like that means he does not worry about the same things that i do like he feels free enough in his life that he knows where he's going he knows what's happening so he doesn't worry about it and i'm like i like i almost am, am envious of that way of thinking i don't have it in my bones i've tried it it just isn't there but it, it like it's i can be envious of that kind of devotion like that blind faith that i just don't have my mind just starts questioning it right away and I don't know. I wish I could. I wish I, it was that easy for me. And it's, But the other side is I enjoy every step of my journey. I wouldn't like want to not be me. I'm just saying I wish that some days, some nights when I am waiting for signs and, and, and meditating and looking for doorways and pathways and roads, 
that I search for constantly, I wonder how different my life would be if I could just believe, but I can't. I've tried, and it just, I question instantly. It's just my nature, so, and I just don't believe everything, and I don't know how one negates the other. In other words, if all this magical stuff in the Bible, I mean, that's the most magical thing ever, and mystical, magical, all the words that I love are in that Bible, then how can you say, but the rest of it's nonsense? Like, see, again, I just start questioning. I put these questions before myself, and it just ruins any faith. I mean, it's the way I am. But, I don't mind that so much because I have faith in other things because I do know that there are other worlds and I know that for me I can't prove it to you and I don't even try I'm just telling you for me I know it for me I know I've been visited a few times by my boyfriend who's passed I know I've done that it's it's not a question because it's just not those are my experiences so there you have it but at any rate where I was going with this sorry I dive left this guy Tom Campbell said that um, you have to prepare your soul for where you're going you might have done this a thousand times you might have walked these same paths many many times and you are unaware of things so you need to get aware but what he said that really was crazy to me and makes me really want to get to that level what he said was all the things that we use the hemi sink the bowls the meditations that to alter our to 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 move into a different reality a different existence so that we can visit these places He's like, you don't need any of it. If you want to be in an altered reality, you just need to go there. Like, I can't wait until one day when I am that good. I wish I had like a year to devote to it. I swear to you. Because I would love to be that good where if I just wanted to continue on another life uh, like because he says these these worlds are right next to us it's not like they're somewhere far out into the universe they're like right here and if we want to venture there all we have to do is open a door go through and close the door i want to get that good my my life stream is to be that good that on cue I can say let me see what's going on over here and alter myself to slip into the next reality I would love that and what I said to my boss the reason why I brought him up at all is like if I, like heaven is a geography because like if you do any of the stuff with Monroe Institute or anything then you know that or if you don't, you should go look it up. It's really cool. But then you know that heaven is just like what they say is heaven, like the garden and all this. Stuff. It's just levels of places that you go after you die, waiting to get to whatever you your next place is, right? So some people get stuck where they are. We call them ghosts. And Monroe Institute does what's called soul retrieval, where they'll where people that are that good um they just find these lost souls and take them up to the waiting place it's like a it's like a garden where people wait to go on to the next thing whatever their thing might be so mm, i would i wish i was that good that i could just say nope i would don't want to be here right now i just want to go over and see what's going on over here and just be able to just like walking into another room he says you don't need the tools I need the tools I have to have the tools or I can't get where I need to be right now my wish and hope and dream is that one day I'm like that that all I have to do to want to be in an altered reality is to tell myself that I want to be in that other reality whichever one because there's so many 
whatever one I choose and then go and then go and see what's going on and live that you know have that life and then come back and have this life and and like swim between the worlds and learn things about other creatures and life and oh my gosh it's just endless I mean there's such cool stuff on that website um and I'll link the Tom Campbell below for you too. Now he gets wordy, he's a scientist, so after a while you're like, huh? But if you like skip through and listen to like what he says, if you get bored with like super scientific talk, cause he's really super bright. And sometimes to be honest, the things he says goes like bloop, right over my head. But if you listen to him and uh, like just get what he's saying to you it's so important and it's so interesting and it's so magical you're gonna love it i do all right guys i love you and i'm back to work back to the grind um have a great monday and if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life hit the button down below and subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of video a thumbs down if you thought i was boring um manifest something good in your life if you know it think it believe it the doors will open up and the universe will give you what you want so go get it go manifest something good i love you guys bye